Dickey, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the USC Trojans and the Baylor Bears? Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Bears should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Secondly, if you win the glass, baby, and you own the boards, you'll win the game. Finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. He steps up to the line. There's a reason they're called free throws. Number zero is charged with the foul. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. For the bucket, he shows the sweet touch. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Try to pack it inside. Good anticipation defensively. He'll regroup the offense. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 22 is fired up right now emotional. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Inside. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets that one to fall. Inside, the power forward gets the ball. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Shooter spotting up on the three. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Fed the low block. 
He fakes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He goes to the line for the first time. First one is good. That's a 7-0 run. Both free throws go. They scored eight in a row. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. On the top of the circle, way off target. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Number five takes the feed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Pushing up basketball. He unloads a three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work it around the perimeter. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Oh, Got a nice screen. Number 14, he blocks the shot. 10 seconds to put it up. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from left of the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Gave it up. He looks at the hoop. And he'll kick it back outside. Number 24 gets the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. Baylor are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The frustration right there. The power forward with the ball. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call.
with the fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. He bombs from outside. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> nice pass to the low block. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> I post screen. Going to use it? Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Nice defensive rebound. They clear the head in transition. And have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. For the bucket. In and out. Up and inside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. On the inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. two and off the mark USC's had great success on the gridiron but are usually kind of in the middle of the Pac-10 standings for hoops they are doing what they can to turn things around they've hired an ex-NBA coach and feel as though they are on their way turns it over at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Just threw excitement with that jam. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 24 is pounded on his way up. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Not celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Good. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon. NBN. With a bucket. And he missed. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gets it back out. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. Picked off. Three, three, 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And a slam. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right, thanks, Aaron. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. He's trying to speed up the tempo of this game. For two, can't get the shot to go. On the outside. And let him right into the screen again. What did I say? Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 40 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. This is the first. Hits the second shot. Nice fake. The fake. He goes with a jump hook. And in and out. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work the perimeter. There's the pick. Up fake. Tan on the shot clock. Up and inside. On the outside, he intercepts it. This should be an easy two for the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game, and it's probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He misses the first. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Rims off. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar, you too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. There's a double team waiting there. They're working around the perimeter. Leans in. Baylor are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to clip on offense. Working around the perimeter. His whole team that's up. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He'll visit the charity strike. He got it. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Puts up the tray. That was nice. Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. Goes up for two. In and out. Up and in. Brad, this place will be dusty if they can score here.
shoots it. He nails the bucket. Strips the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Moving it around the perimeter. The post flashes up high if he wants it. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And off the mark. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The crowd really admires this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Tries one from three-point land. He gets the bucket to fall. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. They go inside, and now he rejects it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Looks at a three. Makes the shot. Two, doesn't go. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Up and inside. Tries for two. He buries it. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are first. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen. So effective, that screen. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Shoots from outside. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around, has it? Yep, Brad. On the outside. On the inside, Baylor have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. Buried it. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shot clock is dead. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On 
the outside. Number 40 makes a great move to draw the foul. They will line them up. First shot, good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He tries to beat the clock. At halftime, the Trojans trail by nine. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? Hey, Brad, when you look back at the first half, you have to consider this three ball, which set the tone for how the first half was going to go. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. USC carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaching staff must be living right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. She's got the score for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Steals the pass. He should have an easy bucket here. For the bucket. Accepted. They work it around the perimeter. The Bears have a three-point shooter spotting up. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. For two, off the rim and no good. The center handles the pass. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow. Reject it out of there. Nice block shot. The power forward handles the feed. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Fakes it. Executes the baby hook. And he misses the shot. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. In the paint. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Ward at its best. Fake. Tries for two. He couldn't get it to fall. They'll work it around the arc. He throws it up from downtown. Buries it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Stolen ball. They run it up into transition. Puts it up, looking for contact. Looking to move it around the 
perimeter. Number 23 takes it away. Pushes it up. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Here we go on the break. There's a slam. In the paint. Looking for contact. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 22 draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Guns up the deep one. Rims out. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Off the rim and no good. He gets the rejection. Picks off the pass. For the bucket, Baylor are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Gave it up for the deuce. He gets the shot to fall. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He looks for the bomb. Questionable shot selection there. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. Here they go, into the break. Goes up for two. That was nice. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen. And back they come the other way. Number 22 is called for the foul. First team foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Gets them both to fall. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Picks off the pass. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Great defense. That space 
Johnson. The ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. For two, he can't get the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Scorches the net. Number 13 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. All right, thanks, Aaron. Way off target. forward receives the ball Dick not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket not quick enough and a great reaction by the defensive post player that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot he intercepts it Shooting guard receives the pass from the top of the circle. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Steals the pass. Gave it up. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Baylor have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Makes the block. Gets it back out. Number 14 picks up the foul. Second team foul. Number five checks in for the first time. I tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He shoots from outside. He's money with a shot. the game really important here you want to establish some good tempo stolen and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot for the bucket sweet looking shot he is super he really is Someone's obviously excited. He's taunting the crowd. That's what may find him in big trouble with this crowd. Got a guy right on him. 
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive. He makes the block. The lane. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 40 is pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number three set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. He can't buy one. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. On the outside. And he'll kick it back outside. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. High post screen from way outside. It's no good. Gave it up. They get out on the break. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And a momentary look from three-point land. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And now there's a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 22 gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. First shot, no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Gets the second shot. They scored seven in a row. In the paint for two. Finger roll. Or two. Can't get the shot to drop. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out. He shoots from long range. The Bears are up by 15. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for a good shot on the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. for two. In and out. Oh 
Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Turnaround jumper. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Rims out. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Number 13 makes a great move to draw the foul. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. USC are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Second shot is good. With a long bomb. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. The lead is nine. Nine is fine, Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. <laughs> Trying to funnel them to the sideline, take them to a trap. <laughs> For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Working around the perimeter for two. They still don't score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Foul charge. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby.
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? He'll go to the line. He sinks it. Hits the second shot. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip it for this lead before it's too late. Changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the baseline. They got a foul quickly here. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. He goes to the line. it the lead is up to eight they could be starting to pull away here dick number 24 is asking the fans for even more encouragement you know Brad, i think he wants the crowd to support him on his defensive possession well mr vitale there's the foul situation so far hey brad staying out of foul trouble then a stretch of any game is vital you want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. High post flashes for the opportunity. Jumps in. The lane. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. The Bears are now in the bonus. the perimeter. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference. Baylor graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along for Dick Vitale.